These cadets have worked long and hard to prepare this parade for you this morning, and we hope you enjoy it. I ask when a reviewing officer comes on board, if you would all please stand. Thank you. A reviewing officer this morning is Commodore E. R. A. Murray, Commandant, Royal Military College of Canada. Born in Montreal in 1937, Commodore Murray entered Royal Roads Military College in 1955, graduated from the Royal Military College of Canada, and obtained a Bachelor of Engineering degree from McGill University in 1960. Following two years of service in the destroyer HMCS Saguenay, he attended the U.S. Naval Submarine School and then served in the Canadian submarine HMCS Willis until 1965. Commodore Murray then moved to Her Majesty's Dockyard Chatham in England, where he was a member of the Canadian team overseeing the construction of submarines for the Canadian Navy. He returned to Canada as an engineering officer of the submarine HMCS Onondaga, where he served until 1968. Following postgraduate studies at the University of Toronto, Commodore Murray was seconded to the Defense Research Board for three years as an operations research scientist. After attending Canadian Forces Staff College, he spent seven years in Halifax as Squadron Technical Officer of the 1st Canadian Submarine Squadron, Base Canadian Destroyer Squadron, and Commander of the Engineering Divisional National Defence Headquarters. From 1980 to 1982, while at NDHQ, he led the evaluation of the DND Research and Development Program and then attended the National Defence College. Commodore Murray was commanding officer of the Ship Repair Unit Pacific from 1983 to 1986, and following that posting was the Director of General Management Services at Nas National Defence Headquarters until July 1987, when he assumed his present appointment as Commandant of the Royal Military College of Canada. Commodore Mur Murray is married to the former Gail Stickney of Kingston, Ontario, and has four children. We are pleased to have him aboard today as our reviewing officer.
take the drop sheet. Morning, sir. Chief Pedestal First Class and Paris for the HMCS Ontario. Standing by for inspection, sir. Do you wish to inspect? I do. Aye, sir.
As you look around the parade square, you can see several cadets who are wearing medals around their necks. These cadets have made a special contribution to HMCS Ontario and presented various awards at last night's banyan. We'd like to take this time to recognize these cadets. The Improvement Award, presented to a sea cadet from the grass and percussion section to achieve the highest level of improvement during the course, was pre presented to cadet J. Almer, percussion, and cadet D. Zeller, brass. The Proficiency Award was presented to the sea cadets in the brass and percussion sections who display a high level of musical competence and military proficiency. Brass, the winner was Cadet Macklin. Percussion, Cadet Andrea Young. Proficiency awards for level two bandsmen were presented to Cadet B. Rose and Cadet S. Ball. The Proficiency Award for Glockenspiel was presented to Cadet Angela Young. There are four general training divisions on parade, and from each of these divisions, the most outstanding cadet was selected. From Skeena Division, Cadet Beth St. Clement. From Sioux Division, Cadet Gael Fortin. From Saskatchewan Division, Cadet Jason McKay. And from Saigon Division, Cadet Terry Pierce. Congratulations. We now move to our sailors. The McBogusky Cup is awarded to the winning crew of the Basic Sail and of course Regatta. The winners this year were Cadet Daryl Wilson, 103 Niagara, and Cadet Ford Anderson, 253 Crescent. Basic Sail Awards to the most proficient cadet in each Basic Sail Division were awarded to Cadet Stacy Lever. 134 Apple Mount Baton, and Cadet Chad Boyer, 46 Royal Sovereign. The Commander Down Trophy is awarded annually to the cadet in the qualifying or instructor sail course who consistently applies his or herself to the art of sailing regardless of ability. This year there were two winners. Our congratulations go to Cadet Heather Smith and Cadet Darren McCray, 40 Falcon. The Commander Down Regatta Trophy was established in 1981. It was donated by the sailing instructor staff to award winners of the Senior Regatta, the competition among sailing qualification and instructor course candidates. The winners of this year's regatta were Cadet Rob Carter, 186 Haida, and Cadet Rick Shuchuk, 279 Burnhamville. The trophy for the most improved sailor was made to this year's instructor candidate, Officer Cadet Kim Martin. Part of the Sea Cadet program involves physical fitness. 
and on this account, several awards are made. The Divisional Sports Competition Trophy was presented this year to Crescent Division, Basic Sale.
Carry on, man. Carry on, please.
There are several awards and presentations to be made this morning. The first is the Outstanding Band Course Bandsman. Presented to the Sea Cadet, it displays a high quality of musical ability, military proficiency, leadership, drill, dress, and deportment. This year's winner is Cadet Gallant. The award will be presented by Mr. Bob Mosley, Sea Cadet Chairman of the Navy League of Canada, Ontario Division. Cadet Gallant, front and centre, please. The Outstanding Course Bandsman, presented by Lieutenant Commander R.J. Peters, will be given to Cadet P.J. Eglinton. There is stiff competition between the divisions aboard HMCS Ontario. The Cock of the Rock Award is made to the best general training division for the two-week camp. Criteria include promptness, care of quarters, appearance in uniforms, and attitude. The name of the winners will be listed on the plaque. The winner is Sagney Division. Divisional Officer, Lieutenant Wakefield, Divisional Petty Officers, Head Officer Second Class I, Head Officer First Class Anton. The award will be presented by the Commanding Officer of HMCS Ontario, Commander Gibbons. The Lieutenant Colonel Eggenberger Award is given to the cadet in the basic sail course who consistently applies him or herself to the art of sailing regardless of ability. The award will be pre presented by Lieutenant Eggenberger and is awarded to cadet Pamela Neff, 78 pounds.
next presentation is the most outstanding sailor. This is awarded at each camp for excellence in sailing. The candidate has consistently demonstrated high proficiency in sailing theory and on-water practical application. In addition, the candidate will have demonstrated high standards in other aspects of the program, including physical fitness and deportment. This year's winner is Cadet Rob Carter, 186 Haida. Commodore Murray, our reviewing officer today, will address the ship's company. <laughs> Parents and guests, friends of sea cadets, and members of the ship's company of HMCS Ontario. I'm delighted to be here, and I think most of you out on the parade square know that. You've seen me around enough. Ontario was the originally a Royal Canadian Naval Cruiser that served during the last year of the war in the Pacific and has a special meaning for me because it was the first ship that I joined as a cadet. And it brings back 
memory is not necessarily fond as I look upon the HMCS Ontario ship's bell beside the quarter deck of the stone frigate and realize that I have something in common with probably most of the cadets on this parade square. I too got up very early in the morning as a young fellow and polished that bell. <laughs> now first I would like to greet the parents and friends of the cadets and acknowledge the fact that a great deal of the success of this camp is due to you. You are the people who instilled certain values, certain characteristics in your children, whom we see out on the parade square today, and I'm sure are responsible in great part for the very positive attitude that is obvious in these young people. And the show that we have had today, which I might add is only a very small part of what goes on in this camp, is certainly witness to the support and the enthusiasm that parents give to Sea Cadets. And on behalf of all of us who are involved in the Sea Cadet movement, I thank you very much. My next words are for the staff. And I have to express my particular admiration for the staff of HMCS Ontario. You may not realize it, but theirs is a seven day week. It starts in many cases before the cadets wake up, which I'm sure they've told you is quite early enough. It ends after the cadets in many cases have gone to bed. They've been here for eight or more weeks. Many of them have not, have not yet had a day off. They have acted as mother, father, and teacher to 500 teenagers. And as parents, I think you can understand the significance of that statement. And the results are quite remarkable. We have here young people who get up at 6.30 in the morning every morning, who make their bed, who clean their cabin, who assist in cleaning the bathroom, who wash their own clothes, who iron their, who generally do what they're told without talking back, who go to bed when they're told, generally. If that is not an amazing accomplishment by a camp staff, then I don't know what is. But this is the Cadets Day, and I have special praise for you. In naval terminology, bravo zoo, which means very well done. The show that we today, the parade, demonstration by the band, as I said before, is only a small part of what goes on here. Uh, first we have the sailors, and unfortunately that's the one group here today who really can't show off their skills because we're not putting on a sailing demonstration, but I can assure you that they worked extremely hard that the skills that they've developed are not easy to acquire. They take a lot of work, a lot of effort. I can assure you that many of them are very good swimmers because they spend a great deal of time in the water <laughs> and later righting their boats. And I might add, I'm a board sailor and I've spent just as much time in the water as they have this summer, I think. We have the band. And I don't have to tell you, say anything about the band because you've had a chance to observe them today. This band, this band has brought a great deal of honor to the Sea Cadet movement. They played in the Kingston Festival Tattoo and they played in the same show with the band that uh, performs the changing of the guard on Parliament Hill. That's a combined band of the Governor General's Foot Guards and the Grenadier Guards of Montreal. They played alongside a mass pipe band of three of the regimental pipe bands of some of the better known regiments of Ontario. And they played in the same show as the band of the Fort Henry Guard. 
All of these bands contain people who are far older, in many cases have had a lot more practice. And the statement in the local newspaper was, the band of HNCS Ontario stole the show. which formed my guard today, and a very fine guard they have been. These people have been challenged continuously every day for six weeks. They've completed in excess of an 80-mile trek through the bush in brutally hot weather. They have all completed a three-day sail in open boats down Lake Ontario and back. They've spent many hours learning leadership skills, and I think have demonstrated the kinds of quality, the perseverance, the guts that are admirable in any young person, and certainly a group of people of which Canadians, and certainly the people of Ontario, can be very proud indeed. This unfortunately is the final parade for a number of the cadets on parade today. And I say to them that uh, I hope that you will remember and practice the lessons you learned as sea cadets, the skills that you've learned because they will certainly serve you well in the voyage through life. Once again, to the ship's company of HMCS Ontario, Bravo Zoo.
on the guy that owns this place. I might tell you that this gentleman has made magic things happen at HMCR Secretarial. Things that I never thought would ever happen. This gentleman is a great supporter of sea cadets right across the country. But right now, in particular, us. That is our landlord, Commodore Murray, which I'd like the ship's company to give a round of applause to, please. If anybody thinks I'm buttering up the old man, well, <laughs> but truly we deserve, or we need to do that to show this gentleman how we feel. Now to you guys that are going home, I'd like to say to you, have a safe trip. Remember the friends you made here, and one day when you're 30 years old, walking down the street somewhere, you'll notice a guy or a gal, and you'll talk about old times. In a few moments, you'll be getting on your buses and leaving this all behind, but you can never take away all the experiences, all the conversations, all the little giggles that you had behind the blocks out in the point. <laughs> I know. To the uh, PLs, you did a super job under rotten conditions this year where Mother Nature decided to give you 100 degree weather out of the boonies. To let the people know what kind of spirit young Canadians have, we had an occasion to make a decision to pull the leadership people out at the field. It was 98 degrees and about 100% of uh, humidity. They were dropping like flies and we got a call to say that they're going to be brought in. We said by all means bring them in right away. They went into the bush to get them and they refused to come out. <laughs> I think they're just like laying on the trail, I'm not quite sure. However, we had to make a deal with them that they had not failed their course if they came out, that we would put them back in, if it was reasonable weather, the next day, to the place where they would normally have arrived to the day before. On that agreement, reluctantly, they came out. I think they stopped waving men, but anyway, they did it. We had a situation where people were brought out of the bush because they had a leg injury, brought to the MIR. The nurse of the MIR says, oh, we'll have to send you up to the hill to have that leg looked at. Probably overnight. Wrong move. The nurse uses the telephone, tells them they're sending this poor person up to the hill, turns around, no poor person. <laughs> poor person is hitchhiking 40 miles up the road to get back to her troops because she doesn't want to fail the course. Now this is one of you mums and dads' daughter here. Probably one that doesn't clean up her room. The one that gives dad a hard time about coming home at the right time of night. And that's the gusto of what you are producing to send here and we get to use them to make them do the things they should do, of course. The kids in general could be standing around in the corner picking an ears or not. <laughs> They're on this plate square instead. They are a credit to mums and dads. 
their credit to the province of Ontario and their credit to the country. Well done, Ontario. As the boss says, bravo, Zulu. That's done. Well done. The very first, for Ontario, female coxswain, Chief Petty Officer of Paris, has performed an outstanding job for the ship. I made the right decision, and all you people that think that a girl can't do the job has definitely been proved wrong. Well done, coxswain. Chief Petty Officer, First Class Marta Paris, Cox of HMCS Ontario, will make a presentation to the reviewing officer. Thank you. 